What are horse chestnuts? What are ergots? Today I'm going to talk about these two formations on a horse's anatomy and you want to stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss the story about the amazing and mysterious part of a horse's anatomy that you probably have never seen or heard of before or maybe have never heard or seen of before and I'm going to share a wonderful and mysterious story with you about that. So you want to stick around. Horse chestnuts are callosities or callus formations that are found on the front legs and the rear legs of all equines with a couple of exceptions. Uh, Pippa here is going to help me show you them so you can take a look at what they look like. You can see Pippa's knees and you can see the chestnut above the knees on each front leg. They are on the inside of the legs, so inside of the right and inside of the left. Onto her hind legs, you will see the chestnuts below the hawk. So you see her hawks and you see the chestnut again on the inside of each rear leg, but below the hawks. These chestnuts are relatively flat. If you want to uh, flatten them a little bit more, even them up, you can do this easily in the wash rack. The water will soften them and you can rub them with your hand or use your fingernail gently and just even them up easily. Pippa has ergots on all four of her legs. They are down above the hoof at the fetlock though, all the way down at the end of the leg. They are where the hair grows longer. They are pointy pea shape or bean shape. They are also callosities and they can protrude sometimes. You may choose to clip them off with a little knife, but be careful not to cut the skin. And if you're concerned with that, you may want to ask your farrier to do that for you. So what are these um, chestnuts and ergots, these callosities that are found on horses that I showed you? They are, they don't really serve a purpose. They are very individual. Um, and many scientists actually think they are vestigial remnants of the very earliest horse, the pre-evolutionary horse called the Dawn Horse, the Eohippus. And that horse roamed the earth 55 to 58 million years ago and it had uh, it was a small creature they were forest dwellers and they did have um, four toes on the front legs and three toes on their hind legs so they were quite a bit different but they are known to be the oldest ancestor to the modern horse and those uh, toes receded in evolution over time as horses got bigger and were carrying more weight and moved on to plains and um, carried themselves that way and they are now what is today the four hooves on a uh, single hooves on the on the legs of a horse. Some scientists think that the calluses that are up on the front legs and the hind ends are the remnants of one of the toes that receded but not all scientists agree with this last formation that i want to show you is the mysterious mark that you will see on particularly Arabians, but it is on other horses. As you may know, Arabians have been introduced in the breeding of many other breeds of horses to help refine those breeds or bring characteristics that Arabians possess to those breeds, such as the thoroughbred. So you will see this on other breeds as well. I think you can, see, yes, you can see it really clearly from this perspective here. It is an indentation right here on her neck and it fits my thumb pretty well. <laughs> Last story I want to share with you is a sweet uh, story. It's a little bit 
of a mystery as to why many Arabians have the indentation that I showed you on Pippa. Uh, the story goes that the Prophet Muhammad was wandering the desert, desert with his herd of horses for days and days. And they were very thirsty when they came upon an oasis and all of the horses in his herd ran towards the oasis to get water and he stopped and he called back his herd and of all of the horses in his herd five mares stopped did not go to the water and returned to him uh, displaying complete loyalty um, and dedication to him and to reward these five very special mares, he pressed his thumb into their necks and gave them a thumbprint. And it is believed that all of the horses that bear that thumbprint today are descendants of those five miraculous mares. And that is the story that goes along with the thumbprint of the prophet, which is what it's called. Um, so please let me know in the comments below, do you have a horse that has this thumbprint? What is their breed? Or have you seen this on other horses? Leave any questions you have below and please like and subscribe to A Life With Horses. It really helps a lot. I really appreciate it. And I do look forward to seeing you in the next video.